showing you how you can make your own gel bags for beginners. So I thought I'd do my voice because there's quite a lot of explaining to do. So the strange one. So what you're going to need to do, you're going to install a plugin called um, Low Character Plugin. So what you're going to do, you're going to open up the toolbox. If you don't know how to open up the toolbox, you're going to um, you go on home and it will say toolbox here. So you're going to go onto plugins and then type up Low Character. And then it will come up here and you can just install it and yeah. Okay, so now once you've got it opened, you at the top it will say plugin, so you're going to click on that and press on the low character plugin. Now, you're going to type in your username, so I'm going to do mine. And make sure to spawn it anyone, I'll recommend R6. So, what you're first going to do, you're going to leave it here. So, you're going to export it just like this. First of all, so you're going to do right click and then export selection. So I'm going to export this as my rig, so I'm going to do my rig. So now next you're going to want the head. So so you're now going to um, you're going to click them on and then press shift and remove everything except from the head. So now you're going to right click on the head and do the same thing and name it head or whatever. So I'm going to name it head tutorial. So now once you've done that, I'm going to put the link to the rig in the link description down below for Blender. So let's hop into Blender. So now we're in Blender, so what you're going to do, the way you move, you press Shift and F and now you can move around. So first of all you're going to remove the head, you're going to right click and press X. So if you want to remove them all at once, well, remove most of them, you're going to press Shift and then click on the ones you want to remove. You're going to want to remove everything. Uh, not the torso or the arms. Um, I think it's easier just clicking on them so you don't really miss anything. So as you can see now it's just got the body. So we're now going to want to add our amateur to it. So you're going to click this little icon and pull it down and make sure to right click on anything with the body. I'm going to do the arm and go to no editor. So now you're going to scroll in until you find the image section. Make sure to click the open image button. Okay, so now you're going to find the one you've got. So, you can find my avatar. So, here's my avatar. Alright, so you're now going to. You can see I've got a texture. You're going to want to get rid of this. So, you're going to pull that little icon and pull it up. Okay, so we've now got that. Up. So, we're now. We've got no head or anything. So, we're now going to import the head. So, you're going to go onto a file, import, and wait for an APJ. So you're going to find your file, um, I'd recommend creating a file anywhere if you want. So I'm going to now, make sure to click on the one you want to import. Make sure it's OBJ and not MTL. And you're going to click on import. So now we've got my head. So we're going to want to turn it around. So the three icons, if you do not have it open, you're going to click on this. And then make sure to use these. So let me explain. So this one is meant to move the head, as you can see. This is meant to turn it. And this will make it bigger. We do not need this one at the moment as it is not used this tool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the turning icon and then move the head so it's facing towards. Okay, so now you can so now you've got your head and your body. So you you're gonna want to pose it. So I'm gonna pose it. So you what you're going to do, you're gonna click on these little weird icons and just like I was kissing you with my eyes open But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted But what about what I want, what about what I want And what I wanted was to crash with Okay, so now I've got my repose on how I want it to. So just make sure it's all perfect. Right. So now we want to now add it into like we want to make it into the camera position. So there's no camera moment, so what you're going to need to add on is click on shift and A and then press on camera. So the way we're gonna to want to enter a camera is go on to view and click on camera. So like I said, move around, shift and A. And point the camera how you want it. 
So you can also change the size of the gun the camera angle and click on resolution and then you can change it. So I'm going to make mine kind of small for now. So now if you click on rendered here, as you can see, it will show it. So it's dark at the moment. So what you're going to do is click on the word icon and put ambience color. And you want to change the background color, you're going to click on this, make it bright, and then go on the color you want. So right now I'm going to just use red. And so now we're going to want to red the red. You can click on render and render image. I was kissing you with my eyes open But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel warm I hope, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make image effects So now if you're wondering how to save it, you're going to click on image And then save as image and save it into the file Have a lovely day and goodbye